No Film School's coverage of NAB 2018 is brought to you by Black Magic Design, creating revolutionary solutions for film, post-production, and television. Adorama, the world's only full-service destination for photo, video, and electronics. And My Road Reel, the world's largest short film competition is back. Register now at myroadreel.com. Hey, this is Charles Hay, and I'm here at the Tangent Wave booth at NAB Show 2018, covering it for No Film School. I'm talking to Chris Rose. Good to see you again. Nice to see you again. Yeah, another year. This is called the Arc Control Panels. C or K? C. As in, it goes round in an arc. What's the price point? So, this is $15,000 for the, the complete set. And uh, at the moment, it's primarily aimed at the high-end users who are doing things like uh, Luster or uh, New Coda or Mystica. But what we wanted to do was make it more intuitive for the user. And we actually have a single display for each control. So everything is labeled from a soft display. There's no labeling actually on the button in terms of like a, an ink print or a legend. It's all soft label with a display underneath. So the panel's completely configurable. Um, we've got more trackables, so that for example, you're gonna have lift gamma gain plus an offset. And we've still got one over here, which is used for things like moving the cursor around or for transport. Uh, we've got knobs at the top of the panel here so that you can have your favorite selection of controls on the knobs just in the arms reach of the, the trackables. Um, has a built-in area for a Wacom Intuos Pro, a medium pro, which is in a recess on the front of the panel. If Wacom decide to change the style of the, the tablet, we can just take this single recess piece out without changing the whole panel and put a different recess in so you can allow for future developments that Wacom are going to do. But also, you can have it removed completely and just a flat surface in there if you don't use a pen and tablet. And it's already shipping? Uh, it's going to... We've got it out in a few trial sites at the moment, so I expect it's going to be shipping around about May time. You're open to playing with anybody? Yeah, yeah, we do. And um, if you look at the sort of stuff we've gone down with the likes of Premiere, when you can see what we can do with all the mapping, you'll see that uh, if you support our mapping software and... Uh, you can basically configure the panel to suit yourself as the user, you know. So we give you a kind of default mapping. This takes it to the next level where basically uh, everything's like completely labeled, very dynamic in the way it sort of changes between different applications as well. Awesome. So this is the high end. Yeah. Can we look sort of like not at the lowest low end, but sort of the entry level? Yeah. So if you look down the table, I mean, we've, we start here at the entry level, which is the Ripple, which you has already been out for a couple of years now. I own one myself. It's great. Perfect. We have the Wave 2. And now you saw this one last year at NEB, and it was again a prototype. So this is now on sale. Um, it's the replacement for our original Wave panel, which is like 10 years old. So this is now the updated version. Exactly the same kind of layout of controls. Um, we've updated the quality of the encoders inside, so they're now fully optical, so they have a smoother feel. Uh, higher resolution is like four times the resolution of the old um, wave panel um, and it, it, it bridges the gap between the ripple and the element panel so if you look at our price structure it goes three hundred and fifty dollars nine hundred and fifty dollars about three and a half thousand dollars and then fifteen thousand dollars so we go right the way up the price range uh, and of course you can use our app which is like ninety nine dollars so if you already have an iPad if, if you already have an iPad or uh, yeah an Android tablet works for that as well the other sort of things that we're showing here, which are kind of, we're excited about. So you saw the prototypes of these last year, they're on sale now, but there's some new stuff we've got going on, which is uh, we have one of our uh, partners is developing a plugin for Nuke. So you can control Nuke from our panels. And again, you're gonna be able to map the controls from Nuke. Um, we've got the same thing going on with Final Cut. So the new Final Cut Pro has the three color wheels in it. We can control that now from our control panels with our partner company, Command Post, who've done the interfacing for us. And we've gone and written our own plugin now for Premiere as well, which allows you to access more controls in Premiere than you could do before with what the Adobe mapping gave you. So there's a lot of exciting things going on at the lower end of the software market and something new for us, which is Nuke. Chris, thank you so much. Really excited to see these in the field. Okay, good to see you guys right. again. Thanks. For, NAB, uh, for No Film School, NAB Show 2018, this has been Charles Hayne.